Sutherland to Conway, and Conway hit on the pad. There's appeals, and he's gone. So Harry Conway's stay as Night Watchman comes to an end, and the Victorians can rejoice because they've got a wicket. Boland in again, slashed away to one of those gullies, and it's taken by Merlo. He's fallen into the trap. And Jilks goes for 20. A rather rash shot. The field was set for it. Boland into Patterson, he's bowled him. That might have just kept a little bit low. And Patterson walks off with a rueful look on his face. Party. Forward and edged and taken at slip. Hanscom takes the catch, it's looped up, I think potentially off the gloves of Sanger, certainly high up the bat. I think Mr Gale was having it. That's pulled away, but up in the air, it's gone straight up in the air. Harris underneath it up mid-wicket, takes the catch. <laughs> Ball bowling, good delivery from Boland, and Edwards must go for 11. Sure, that moved too much. Maybe it did, but Boland in, flicked away nicely by Copeland, gets it fine, and gets four for it there. He had one boundary. This oh. ball's flicked down the leg side, and Copeland will get a boundary. Is that going to go down as runs? Driven through the legs there of Sutherland at cover. I'm sure, that went straight through his legs. Out towards the boundary, it's another Sutherland in again, and that's out. Jubilation for Sutherland. And the wicket falls. That means an awful lot to him. If, it, if Nathan Lyon doesn't play the sweep shot. Oh, that's trapped on the pad and gone. There you go. Lyon goes for five. And the appeal for LBW as it strikes the pad and he's gone. And victory belongs to Victoria. They win by 204 runs in their opening Sheffield Shield match. Great scenes of jubilation. Congratulations for John Holland, who finishes with three wickets for 16.